Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day. So if you watched my previous what I eat in a day, which I think was probably like in October, I don't really film these videos often. I want to film them more now that I'm like actually actively trying to get into shape for my wedding, which is in December. So I do have a while, I have like 10 months. So it's not like crunch time or anything, but I would rather do it over a length of time then have like three months to get into good shape. If you watch my video in October, I belonged to a gym and honestly, like I haven't really gone to the gym since November, but I've been working out at home and I canceled my gym membership because I realized I was going to the gym, I was going on the treadmill and I was doing mainly like body weight workouts or workouts with pretty like light weights that I have at my house. So I just realized it was kind of a waste of money since I have a treadmill here and obviously I could work out at home. And recently I started Sarah's Day Sweat It to Shred It Guide and I'm on week two. So today's workout is a toning power workout and I'm not going to like give away everything that's in the ebook if you want to try it out. You can buy her ebook, um, but I will give you a little bit of a, of a review of it. It's definitely very difficult. By no means is it a beginner's workout and it's kind of a little repetitive. Like I do find I'm doing the same workouts pretty often, like the same moves and the same things, but I don't really care because I'm improving at doing those things. So I guess that's kind of the whole point is that you start off week one, you can barely like do the workout and by the end, I think it's eight weeks. Yeah, by eight weeks, you should be able to do the full workout. I mean, we'll see. I still have to modify a lot of the workout. And I always work out on an empty stomach. I just always have. I feel fine when I do it. And if I don't work out first thing in the morning, I will not do it. So if I start, if I go somewhere like and I come home, I'm not going to work out. I can't get involved in schoolwork or doing anything. Like I have to wake up, have coffee, water, vitamins, work out. And then I can start my day. So that's what I'm going to do right now. It is 8 o'clock. I woke up around, well, I did wake up at 6, but I spent like an hour laying in bed and then I got up. So it's 8 o'clock. I'm going to do my workout. Generally, the workouts on her plan take about 30 to 40 minutes. And I do use her app. She has a timer app that is designed to go with her different workouts because her workouts are more of like a hit style where you go really hard for like a minute or yeah like a minute and then you have a little rest so I did download her app I just figured it would be easier and it is easier instead of me using my own timer it's $1.99 on the app store you know it's worth the two dollars if you want to do the plan so I'm going to get started working out I'm not going to show you my full workout because obviously that's her plan but I will show you bits and pieces and then we'll get on with the day.
all my clips are from right here, but this is just where the lighting is the best. But for breakfast, I made oatmeal, which is one and a half packs of lower sugar maple cinnamon oatmeal. And that's just my favorite flavor. I hate plain oatmeal. I think it's disgusting. And in order for me to enjoy it, I have to put so much other stuff in it that it's just better off that I eat this. And the lower sugar ones are actually pretty low in sugar. And then a full banana, probably a full serving of peanut butter. Like I don't measure it, but it looks like two tablespoons. And then I put a little honey on top, literally only because I saw it. And I was like, oh, that looks, that looks good. And it looked super cute before, but I mix it all up once um the video is over <laughs> so it doesn't look good anymore so i'm gonna eat this watch youtube videos that's it guys it's now 3 50 i'm on my way to school but i'm stopping at starbucks it's 2 50 actually not 3 50. i filmed a haul on tiktok which took me forever honestly filming on tiktok is like very difficult so it took me forever i don't even like it but whatever i'm gonna post it so i did that and now i brought it freshly with me because i didn't Oh, it's my turn, one second. Yeah, now can I help you? Hi, can I have a venti ice green tea unsweetened with light ice? So we're doing a venti ice green tea unsweetened with light ice? Yes. And anything, I'm sorry, anything else? Nope, that's all. Okay, your total is 352, we'll see at the window, okay? Thank you. Thank you. I didn't have time to eat and I honestly wasn't hungry. I had the worst stomach pains. I talked about this in my other vlog, but like I get the worst stomach cramps and I think it's like trapped gas, but like I just have no way of solving it. Like nothing even works anymore. I used to have some remedies, but now they don't even work. So that was painful. So anyways, I wasn't even hungry because my stomach hurt so bad, but I brought it freshly with me. I bought the buffalo chicken, which is second best now to the rustic chicken. If you have never ordered freshly or you are ordering freshly, um okay you're okay okay you are stopped completely ma'am rustic chicken so good it's a new recipe but i don't have any more so i bought buffalo chicken i don't know if i'll end up eating it before class because i'm really not hungry right now so i'll probably have my built bar but in any event i will show you both of them because i'll end up eating the freshly when i get home and then i just got an ice green tea at starbucks unsweetened I forgot my straw, so don't kill me. That's all. I will show you my Freshly and Built Bar momentarily. So this is the buffalo chicken. And these are the macros on it. Really, really good macros in my opinion. That's so much protein, especially for me. Like, I eat no protein. And where's my Built Bar? This is the Built Bar and those are the macros. Not that you can see any of them. Those are the macros. These do make my stomach hurt if I don't drink a lot of water with them because they have so much fiber. Sorry, I'm like looking for something in my car. Oh, it's my pen. My only pen is what fell out of my bag. That would be really unfortunate. All right, I need to go because like I'm really late to our study session. Hey guys, I just got home. So after class, Liana and I went out to dinner because we were both starving. So during class, I didn't end up eating my Freshly because I just didn't feel like going to heat it up. But I did have the Built Bar, which kind of kept me going throughout class. But I was just so hungry afterwards. Liana and I decided to go out to dinner. So we just ordered a few little plates and split it. So we had this fresh pizza. And it's not greasy. Like you can tell like it's, it's made very healthy, healthily. And it has lettuce, onions, tomatoes, avocado, balsamic vinegar, and a little bit of cheese. We had chicken skewers, which were just grilled chicken with some sort of like spicy sauce on it. Brussels sprouts, which were roasted, and I think they had goat cheese or like feta or something. It was very good, so we split that. I had like half a glass of rosé, and we had a gluten-free brownie with ice cream on top and berries that was so good but I totally didn't need it because my stomach really started to hurt again like halfway through dinner which is like I stopped drinking the wine I was like okay gotta have water like my stomach is hurting and then Liana wanted dessert and I was like yeah I kind of want dessert and like if someone wants something I really like hate saying no 
so i was like yeah like let's just get dessert we had dessert it was really good but my stomach really hurts so i drank a whole bunch of water on my way home i'm about to go inside and do my little nighttime routine Okay guys, I'm gonna end this what I eat in a day video here. I'm drinking some Puka detox tea and I really don't drink tea often. Usually if I'm gonna have a drink, like a hot beverage at night, it'll be one of the Four Sigmatic um, like hot chocolates or mushroom coffee, like decaffeinated ones that I showed in my last what I eat in a day video. Generally, like if I have a hot drink at night, that's what it would be because I don't know tea is just like not really my thing And usually at this hour, it's like nine o'clock I usually stop vlogging honestly around like 7 7 30 every day So you don't really see this part of my night But I am having tea because my stomach hurts and tea helps it feel better and also this tea will help me be a little bit less bloated tomorrow because I already know I'm gonna be bloated just based on the way my stomach feels. And I'm not someone who really cares if I'm gonna be bloated. Like, who cares what you look like? Like, who cares if your stomach is bloated? No one, literally no one cares. So if you're going to bed or you are feeling insecure about the way you look, just think about it. Like, no one cares about the way you look other than you. I don't mean that in a bad way, but like no one's gonna think you look bad. It's like all in your head. I just don't wanna be bloated because it's uncomfortable to wake up bloated and gassy like it's just not a good feeling and this tea almost has like um a nutty flavor to it i want to say so it's pretty good i don't know most hot teas though i just don't like drink the rest of my water i always drink like a full thing of water right before i go to bed and i also have been taking melatonin recently i've been having trouble falling asleep staying asleep you guys know my struggle with sleep so i've been taking this i used to take it all the time and then I just stopped and recently I just started again so these are from Target they just dissolve in your mouth I don't like feel the need to get anything special so as I finish my tea I'm going to edit my TikTok that I filmed today while I wait for Jesse to come to bed we usually don't go to sleep at the same time I fall asleep like way earlier usually but recently we've been on the similar sleep schedule so I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys found it informative and you enjoyed it. I think the way I eat is pretty realistic and attainable. I clearly like don't follow many constraints, although I did exercise some self-control because while we were in class, I was saying to Liana, like all I wanted was Pentanilla vodka so bad, like huge bowl of pasta because obviously I was hungry and when you're really hungry, like you want something calorically dense. When we sat down at dinner, I was like, okay, I could get this big bowl of pasta or me and Leon could get three different things and just split it all and then I get like different flavors. So I decided to do that and I'm so much happier that I did because if I got the Pinella Vodka, oh my god, my stomach would be destroyed right now. So luckily I didn't. So I exercised some self-control. Anyways, let me know in the comments below if you want more videos centered around diet, health, fitness, as I sort of embark on somewhat of a health and fitness journey. I'm trying to be healthier and I'm definitely like way healthier than I was last year and the year before. So it's just a slow process for me. Hope you enjoyed. Give the video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you aren't and I'll see you again in the next one. Peace out.